What is up everybody? I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel and today is a different type of video. I've always had this question in my mind when I first started collecting Blu-rays, DVDs, 4K Blu-rays, was that um, where to buy them? You know, obviously you got your Walmarts, your Best Buys. But, you know, in America, I'm seeing, like, especially uh, especially recently, I'm seeing films at home. All these people talking about Groove.com, Deep Discount, Hamilton Books, Half Price Books. Uh, all these places that sell very good, well-priced 4Ks and Blu-rays for such cheap prices. And obviously, guess what? They don't ship to Canada. In Canada, we're 40 million people strong. You know, a lot of people here and a lot of people who still like physical media. I know I have a few people who watch my videos who are from Canada. And I'm going to be posting this around. Around just to help out the community again I'm not an expert but judging from my uh, past few months of collecting I've narrowed down a f the top 10 places to buy physical media in the country of Canada uh, to preface I am in uh, southern Ontario Canada so the most populated area in Canada so this is gonna be differentiating between like if you're in Saskatoon or something you're probably not gonna get the same amount of things but I have some websites that ship international not internationally but you know throughout the coast and top one is number 10 it is pawn shops now this is all based on wherever you're located uh, sometimes pawn shops will have really good stuff the reason why it's at number 10 is that they have great prices it's just you're not gonna find the best selection I know especially for me when I go to my local pawn shop some of them actually remove blu-rays they get rid of their blu-ray selection and then the one I go to usually they have good prices I think it was like five for 20 or something so it's about like 230 each um, but like the choices like are pretty minimal uh, a lot of UFC on blu-ray a lot of sports on blu-ray uh, uh, a lot of TV shows like if you're looking for like a wide variety of movies and stuff you're not going to be able to find that there but it's still a great choice because you never know what you might find you get some cheap prices you can haggle you can negotiate and that's always the best I remember I found a box at the uh, what's it called the the X-Men 3 film blue, um, standard Blu-ray box set for like 10 bucks. So that was pretty good. Uh, I know I got like the Pacific for like 10 bucks. The whole entire series, the mini series on, on, uh, on Blu-ray. So that was pretty cool. So pawn shops are a good place to go to get some good deals. But again, they're not going to get, you're not going to find a huge variety of stuff that you might want. Especially for Blu-ray. Because I know DVD you might find a lot, but for Blu-ray uh, it might be a lot harder. Next is a website called inetvideo.ca. Uh, I've ordered a bunch off of this website. You get like five to seven dollar Blu-rays and some good choices. They have three dollar comedy Blu-rays, so I was able to get a bunch of things like uh, like Anchorman Two, uh, the other guys, all that kind of stuff for three bucks each. Uh, the shipping isn't even that bad either. Uh, they also sell a lot of new stuff. Like I was able to get. Um, beat down starring michael bisping brand new in packaging for like five bucks that was cool uh so it's it's good quality stuff uh there is a more wider selection but again it's at number nine because there isn't a huge selection and some of the things like uh they have a ten dollar or less uh, tv show box sets which is pretty cool but again like nine dollars for uh the complete season one of a cleveland show like that those kind of things you're not gonna get a huge variety of stuff but you're gonna get a little bit more when it comes to this instead of a pawn shop now number eight is best buy now i know a lot of people would be surprised to see best buy this low in the list but here in canada the distribution for best buy is so low for some reason like you'll be You'll be hard pressed to even find new releases at Best Buy. I know I see a lot of people like 4K D Ray, Durant Cinema, um, and uh, and mid level media. Whenever they go to their Best Buys, I always see the brand new stuff. They got catalog stuff. They even have some older stuff on 4K. Like I've always wanted. Like they have Scream on 4K just sitting on the shelves. They have uh, Clockwork Orange just sitting on the shelves here in Canada. I mean, we have the Disney stuff, and that's probably it. You've seen my hunts. If you want to see, go to my uh, 
go to my Blu-ray videos playlist and I have a whole bunch of hunting videos. I've gone to Best Buy a bunch of times and it's always, you know, it always not worth it. Uh, but the reason why it's on the list is because things like Black Friday, Boxing Day, they have really good deals, especially Black Friday, not Boxing Day, but Black Friday, they have some really good deals. If you saw my Black Friday hunting videos, I also have a playlist for that as well. Um, I got a bunch of $9 4Ks and it was pretty good selection, uh, especially for me who hasn't, been really collecting 4Ks for that long, about a, about a few months. I was able to stock up on a bunch of good stuff for $9.99. And so, yeah, uh, when it comes to that, sales and stuff, they get the best sales at, uh, one of the best sales at Best Buy, uh, like the wider range sales. Uh, but when it comes to variety of stock, you're not really going to find that much stuff. And when it comes to slip covers, it's kind of scarce. But it's still a good place to start out when you are collecting uh, 4Ks and Blu-rays and stuff like that. Now, number seven is thrift stores. Thrift stores is what I started when I was collecting a bunch of standard Blu-rays. Uh, I stopped going to there because usually they're, they increase the prices. It used to be $4.99. Now it's $5.99. But, uh, you know, you're still going to be able to find some cool stuff. Uh, box sets uh, you can find, especially at Value Villages, uh, Goodwills, Salvation Armies, Talitsis. Those kind of things, you're going to be able to find some good stuff there. But sometimes it, it doesn't really, uh, like they, they price their box sets and DVDs the same price. So if you're interested in DVD box sets, thrift stores are your place to go because they, they price them the same uh, unless they're sealed. But I've gotten some cool stuff. Like I got the um, Lord of the Rings DVD box set. I got that for like three bucks a pop. So I was able to get Lord of the Rings, the first two Lord of the Rings. And what's cool about it is because uh, they come with all those all those juicy extras which don't arrive with the 4Ks. And I have yet to pick up the 4Ks. But, uh, you know, thrift stores are great. Um, but, uh, you know, nowadays when it comes to the Blu-rays, they're still great. Uh, you got to, you know, depending on which area you're in, you might find some bangers. You might not. That is why it is at number seven. Number six is Amazon.ca. Amazon in general is a great place to find uh, 4Ks and Blu-rays for a reasonable price, either a little bit higher to retail or retail. Uh, I know uh, when I pre-ordered the Halloween 4K, that was able to come day one. Uh, only problem is, the reason why I said number six, is that... Um, I'll, I pre-ordered uh, the Kino Lorber. Kino Lorber titles, when I pre-order from there, they usually get canceled. So uh, that's a bit of a bummer. But, you know, if I've ordered the Spider-Man trilogy on 4K with the individual slipcovers, and that was for a decent price. So when it comes to buying things internationally, uh, you know, you're, it's a good best bet to buy from Amazon because you're not going to be paying that much of an upfront charge when it comes to international shipping because Amazon's everywhere, obviously. So you're going to find some good stuff. Uh, I missed out out on getting the 4k of the texas chainsaw massacre uh, i heard that a lot of people have said it's, it's not it's not that worth it and i, I got the steelbook so uh but yeah amazon.com a good uh a good site for blu-rays and 4ks my only bummer was that um they didn't have that good of sales on black friday uh maybe if i wait till amazon prime day maybe i'll find some good stuff but from my experience, when it came to uh, Boxing Day or Black Friday, they didn't really have that good of sales. Now, number five is secondhand stores slash the beat goes on. Uh, secondhand stores, including like, as I said, uh, Hamilton Books. Uh, not Hamilton Books, but Half Price Books. I, I know a uh, um I know Alex Thomas goes there a lot. Those kind of stores, basically, where they sell DVDs, movies, 4Ks, Blu-rays, uh, CDs, those kind of stores. So in our case, we have a we have this store called The Beat Goes On. Um, they buy. I remember I went. I went. I've done a couple hunts there. Uh, I wasn't able to get the best deal when selling, but when buying, you're able to get a few good stuff. I know they have two for five. Two for six dollar deals. So those are cool. If you're into collecting standard Blu-rays, you're going to get a lot of cool stuff. They have steel bucks. They have a lot of cool things. So depending on where you're at, secondhand stores are one of your best bets to find and stock up on some Blu-rays, 4K, steel bucks, DVDs. They're usually going to be able to find... Uh, uh, higher, they're, they're a bit higher than uh, thrift stores, 
but you know you're you're gonna have a huge variety of what you can find there uh you know you're gonna be able to find those box sets and all that stuff it's gonna be maybe like ten dollars more expensive but it's better than buying at retail so that's why i recommend secondhand stores uh at number five because you can just get a lot of good stuff uh sometimes they do really good deals and sometimes they bundle so that's really cool Number four is this place. Again, we're talking about Canada. Uh, they ship. They ship throughout the entire uh, country, and it is Cinema One. Cinema One is a great place to get 4Ks, in my opinion. Uh, one of the best. Uh, they have a wide variety of sales. Every other month, there's a sale for whatever. There's always sales going on. So you, I always keep an eye on Cinema One. They've been around for f- almost over 40 years. Uh, and they're just a staple in Canada. If you haven't been to Cinema One and you're a Blu-ray physical media collector of any sort, I highly suggest in Canada. I highly suggest you check out Cinema One. I just went there a couple, uh, like a week ago, and I was able to get some pretty good sales. They were having like a post New Year's, Christmas, I don't know, sale, whatever. And I was able to get a few movies that were really expensive here in Canada for a good price, for reasonable prices sometimes. And what's cool about this, uh, what's cool about Cinema One is you're going to be able to find those hard to come by uh, boutique labels, Kino Lorber, especially Arrow Video. A lot of those, if you're into Horf, like I showed the Dead and Buried and stuff, those are all available, multiple copies. So if you don't like, and there is a bit of an upcharge, but that's it's about the same price as if you buy, it's, I think it's a bit cheaper than if you paid online and then got it shipped because then you're gonna have to pay for shipping international shipping sometimes when it comes to these you know boutique releases and you're not going to get the best quality you're not going to be able to check if it's a good disc if it's a loose disc if it comes with a slip cover so at cinema one you're going to be able to see all that stuff and i highly recommend it uh the, again all, all, first off, I want to preface that I'm not sponsored by any of these stores or any of these mo- motives of uh, uh, purchasing. I just wanted to uh, let all of my Canadian viewers and all Canadians who are into physical media collecting to know about these outlets on where you can buy this stuff. Because I remember me starting out, I had no idea. So I had to, you know, go around searching Reddit, searching uh, DVD Canada, Blu-ray Canada, and finding a bunch of these. And these were my favorite ones. So Cinema One's at number four. Number three was my first experience in purchasing Blu-rays in bulk. And this is one of the best places to get Blu-rays, DVDs, 4Ks anywhere. And it is the flea market, your local flea market. Uh, I have a vendor here, uh, the Dixie Dundas uh, Fleas, Dr. Fleas Market, whatever. Uh, There's this, um, I want to film a vlog there, but I want there to be a month where there's nothing so I can take out a couple hundred and just spend it at this kiosk. But there's this uh, one uh, flea market I go to. I I haven't made a video there, but I've done the hauls. If you want to check out those hauls, they're in the hauls playlist, Uh, like the massive hauls where I've gotten, you know, 50 Blu-rays for 200 bucks. Like I've gotten a lot of Blu-rays. They usually sell Blu-rays for five bucks a piece and you're going to get the best selection of whatever. A lot of them come with slip covers. I've gotten a lot of $5 Blu-rays with slip covers and that are sealed in the cellophane. Uh, I'm friends with the guy. I'm not friends with him, but I'm 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 a, I'm, I'm buddy buddy with them. You know, I spent you know almost you know 500 bucks there. So uh, great options. Flea markets are one of the best to start collecting um, if you want to amass a collection and not just pick up bullshit titles, but actually get some quality titles. I uh, highly recommend the flea market. You can also uh, negotiate prices. You can bundle up things. I've done things where I've bundled three movies for 10 bucks or that kind. Kind of thing, uh, they appreciate your business because again, physical media, uh, not entirely, but in the mainstream, it is a weaning uh, market. So any business that uh, that comes to them is always welcome. So I highly recommend if you're new or if you're collecting standard Blu-rays the most, uh, go check out your local flea markets. Uh, here in Mississauga, we have a bunch and you know some great prices, some good deals. Uh, I need to go there again. I'm gonna ask if I can film in there because it's a crazy selection. Boxes and boxes, like long boxes, like you know the boxes for uh, comic books? Long boxes, I think they have 15 rows, 20 rows of just Blu-ray goodness. I know they have a couple 4Ks there. So again, check out your local flea markets and that is why it's at number three or number three, 
is because uh, it's great. Number two is Walmart. Uh, the reason why I chose Walmart is because that will be your best bet when it comes to new release titles. You always see me every single Blu-ray Tuesday. I check out Walmart first because Walmart is what you'll usually get the best prices for brand new titles. Not necessarily. I wanted to put this at number one, but then I realized the deals, they don't really do deals at Walmart 4K, at Walmart for Blu-rays and 4Ks. As you know, as you saw my Blu-ray hunt, when I went to Walmart, there was nothing. No one, no one was, there was no deals there. There was nothing really there. But when it comes to new releases, Sometimes they'll have steelbooks. Sometimes they'll have they'll like that's your best bet when it comes to new releases, especially for 4Ks. If you're into 4K Blu-rays, that'll be your best bet when it comes to new releases because they have it the cheapest prices in all. Like I remember, like just just yesterday, I went to uh, uh, Sunrise Records. They were selling Dune on 4K for 35 bucks, but in Walmart it was actually 29.99. Now, again, maybe, you know, because it is a physical release store. But, again, the Halloween was the same price at Walmart, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so number two is Walmart. Specifically, if you're buying new release 4Ks and Blu-rays, or at least just 4Ks, you're going to get it the cheapest at Walmart. And number one, my most highly recommended uh, physical media store to get if you to go to if you are in Canada or visiting Canada is Sunrise Records. Everything I stated down below, the store has uh, uh, it's a bit iffy on the prices, but you're gonna be able to find Blu-rays that are well off the shelves that you're gonna have to look through on Amazon, which will probably be you know like uh, Amazon is okay, but sometimes they they ship uh, they ship broken discs. You never know. You can never know. And they I, they have a great return policy, but again, you're gonna have to go through all stuff that's why i recommend sunrise records number one is could you can actually go to a brick and mortar store look at the blu-rays look at the 4ks i showed you my last vlog they have so much stuff there if you're into boutique titles new releases 4ks blu-rays cds dvds uh they have a whole wall of five dollar for uh blu-rays they have a used section so you can get cheap Blu-rays, cheap, cheap stuff. Um, and you're going to also be able to find a wide selection of everything you want. Again, as I said, 4Ks, they have 4Ks that came out four years ago. So, you know, usually those are off the shelves or usually uh, the slip covers are in the best condition or usually they don't come with a slip cover. So overall, if you're into 4Ks, Blu-rays, boutiques, I highly recommend you check out Sunrise Records. Because, uh, again, the prices are going to be a little bit high. But, um, you know, I mean, that's the price you're going to pay for, uh, you know, having this much of a variety. Uh, I highly recommend it just to check it out because that's where I usually get a bunch of my stuff from. They have great deals every uh, every other month or so. Their Black Friday deal was amazing. Um, they were able to have some good selection for $9 to $11 4Ks. I showed you. I, I did a bunch of vlogs. Uh, hunting vlogs over at Sunrise Records. And yeah, so that was it. That was my list. If you know of any other places in Canada to buy physical media, let me know down below. I know I have a couple viewers who are in Canada. What's up, guys? And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching the video. Man. I am Mason for the Mockbuster YouTube channel. I hope this video helps you when it comes to collecting because, uh, you know, as a collector, it gives me so much joy, uh, you know, and, you know, coming from a dark place i've found that collecting blu-rays and just spending time watching movies reminiscing about things that i love and having a physical representation of my pride and joy a collection of movies is what helps me and what you know keeps me sane <laughs> and uh, i've compiled a list of the 10 best places so thanks for watching another video of mine i am mason from the mock buster youtube channel please have a good day night evening afternoon whenever you're watching this please stay safe and god bless cheers guys